And you ended up, you know, taking after your father and playing chess at a high level as well. Correct. Yeah. Well, what draws you to chess? Because I grew up playing chess as well. So yeah, so chess. I mean, obviously, my father was a chess master, right? So I had to, I had to learn the game. He sat me down. I spent a lot of time learning it. And to this day, I have massive respect for chess. So much respect for the game. It's so much harder at that world level than people can even fathom. Unless you even play the game, you can't even anticipate how good these people are at the game. They're, they're effectively computers. I don't think you can even be good at chess at that level without having something a little bit wrong with you. you got to be on the spectrum somewhere. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because it's crazy how good these guys are. But yeah, chess is an amazing thing. I still play chess every day. I'm, I'm not world level or anything. I'm around 1750, 1800 ELO. Um, if anyone knows chess, that's what I am. But yeah, it, it would that be considered uh, better than average? High, higher certainly, to... certainly better than average. Yeah. You know, it's, the average player, let's say, is around a thousand or something. Okay. But okay. my dad was twenty four hundred. Okay. Twenty five hundred. Damn. Okay. So yeah. So I, I'll give you an example. My dad could beat me without looking at the board. So my dad would be in the kitchen, fucking around the kitchen, cooking dinner. I'd be in front of a chessboard in the living room, and I'd say E four. He'd say C C six. Knight F three. Knight C three. And boom, and he'd smoke me without looking at the board. That's how good Sheesh. the best chess players in the world are. Yeah, it's wow. it's, it's insanity. Yeah. But um, I do think it's a good basis for life. There's certainly a lot of lessons in chess. There's certainly a lot you can attribute to chess from from everyday life to the chess board. And I think it's a good it's a good grounding mechanism. I enjoy to sit down for a good couple hours, win some games, lose some games. Right. It's something I personally enjoy. So, yeah, can you tell more. tell us some of those uh, life lessons that you learned from playing chess with your father and applying it into real life? Yeah, absolutely. So. Uh, I'll give you my favorite one first. Yeah. Please do. My favorite one is, is the difference between the king and the queen. Mm. Right? Because the king moves one square at a time. And the queen can just zip across the board. Right? So you're here in Miami. You're partying in Miami. They've got all these parties right now. It's Art Basel, blah, blah, blah. You see all these chicks on a boat. For the man to get on that boat, it's one square at a time. Right? He has to get a good job. He has to get his taxes right. He has to find a way to leverage credit. He has to meet the guy who sells the boats. He has to go through all this shit stage by stage by stage to finally pull off being on that yacht and having that yacht at the age of 56. A chick, what does she need? Lip fillers? <laughs> Boom. Zip. On. She gets straight on. Mm -hmm. That's the difference between the king and the queen. But although the king is slower than the queen, he's the most important piece, right? The king can't die. The queen can die. The queen, sometimes you can be looking at a position and go, this is fucked up. The only way out of this is to sacrifice that bitch. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can do it. I'll tell you, I'll tell you a very quick story. This is a story I've never told before. When I was, how old was I? 23? When I was 23, I was dating a ballerina. She was the prima ballerina of the Cambridge Ballet School in England. And I had no money. I was a fighter, but I was coming up. I didn't really have any money. And she lived far away, like an hour and a half away. But she used to come see me, and we were good for like a year, year and a half. I love this girl. Yeah. Right. And uh, she finished ballet school. She started dancing in clubs in London. She couldn't get any ballet work. So five, surprise, surprise. Who fucking wants ballet work, right? So she ends up doing like dancing and uh, not stripping, but like dancing in the club, you know. Da -da. So now she's around all the, mo the London money every day. She's out dancing all the time. She's up late every night. She doesn't want to drive an hour and a half to come see me. None of this shit. So we're kind of falling apart a little bit. And uh, she ended up talking to someone famous, David Hay. I don't know who he is. He's a boxer. Mm -hmm. So David Hay starts texting this bitch, right? Back and forth. To the... So anyway, when I finally saw her again, she was like, we had an argument. She's like, well, you know what? You think you're a fighter? This guy, that guy, this guy, that guy. I'm like, look, if you're going to go fuck idiots, at least do it for money. And she's like, what do you mean? I was like, well, if you're going to go fuck idiots, at least get paid because they don't give a fuck about you. Like, if you're going to play this game, at least do it for money. Right. So I had this argument with her back and forth, and I explained to her that these men are just going to use you. If you're going to do it, at least get paid. And when she left the house, Tristan said, why are you telling her to fuck other dudes? I'm like, no, I'm just understanding that in my chess position, I've lost this game. Right. Mm. The game is done now. Just sooner or later, she's out. All we do is argue. She's in the club every night. I'm just trying to say before she leaves, maybe I can get a little bit of money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. That's the queen sacrifice, right? Right, right. She, we, we broke up three months later. I don't know if she fucked him or not or who she fucked. I don't know. I never spoke to her since. But that's kind of the, the analogy you have to be able to apply to life. Sometimes chicks got to go. Yeah. Sometimes they have to go to save the king. And uh, too many dudes, most of the time, men truly lose at life. It's because they've attached themselves to a queen and they won't let her up. They won't sacrifice her.